In ancient times, faithful Jewish families adhere to the religious protocol of presenting their firstborn sons in the temple. However, Mary's offering set her apart. While other mothers redeem their sons with no fear of further consequences, Mary courageously offered Jesus, fully aware that her sacrifice would ultimately be fulfilled on the cross. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today, as we mark 40 days after Christmas, the church joyfully celebrates the feast of the presentation of the Lord. According to Jewish law, the firstborn male of every family was to be presented to the Lord 40 days after birth, a practice rooted in the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Consecrate to me all the firstborn. Whatever is the first to open the womb among the people of Israel, both of man and of beast, is mine. This ritual served as a living memorial to the Lord's deliverance of the Israelites from captivity in Egypt. Every firstborn male then was belonged to God and was set apart for the Lord's service. However, when divine worship became exclusive to the tribe of Levi, a rite of redemption was performed for the firstborns outside this tribe. In their place, a lesser victim, an animal, was offered as a symbolic form of ransom. But Mary's offering was distinct. While other mothers redeemed their sons without any fear that their son would die, Mary offered Jesus, understanding that her sacrifice would find its fulfillment on the cross. He was the firstborn of creation, who would be ransomed in keeping with the law, and then offered some 30-some years later as a victim for the redemption of humanity. Today's feast, therefore, invites us to renew our dedication to the Lord, offering Him our entire being, our thoughts, words, and everything we are and do. And one of the ways we can formulate this offering is by adopting this heartfelt prayer of St. Alphonsus Liguori. Mary, I entirely trust you because you gave your son to death for me. I would offer my heart to Jesus, but it is so full of sins, he may refuse it. If you offer it, he cannot refuse. Mary, do not abandon me. Remind Jesus that I am your servant and have placed all my hope in you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.